So I've got a couple of neat microphones here. I have the King Bee and the Worker Bee, and their boxes are so pretty that I thought, why not open them on camera? So let's take a look. This is the King Bee. There's the lid, obviously. Instruction book, warranty, registration card. So this microphone is a large diaphragm. Oh, look at that. Condenser microphone. It has a fixed cardioid pattern. The capsule is a 34 millimeter gold diaphragm. In there, it's center terminated capsule. And it can handle maximum sound pressure level up to 140 decibels. So it's great for loud instruments, loud sources such as drum sets and uh, guitar amps, that kind of thing. It has a frequency range of 16 hertz up to 20 kilohertz. Now, you've got this cool little uh, thing if you want to rep your neat mic on your studio desk. Well, we could set that up like that. There you go, it's got a little figurine. Let's take a look here. Aha! Uh -huh. This is Neat's Beekeeper shock mount. We have some extra screws in there, but this mounts to the microphone screws in underneath these little thumb screws. I'll just loosen those off. There we go. So we're in our shock mount, the beekeeper shock mount. And the honeycomb pop filter. So you can put this on the front to cut down plosives there when you're recording vocals. And lastly, but not least, we have a beautiful soft carry bag or storage pouch. There we go. So that is the King Bee microphone. And the cool thing about that box is that it's a plastic crate, so you could actually use that for storage afterwards. So let's go ahead and check out the Worker Bee. This microphone has a few differences which I'll talk about, but when you open the box up, you've got your instruction book, warranty card. Let's see now. It's a bit different packaging on this one, okay. Yeah, there we go. Mm, okay. All right. Let's do this differently. Okay, so the main differences between this mic is uh, one thing I should have mentioned about the King Bee is that it features all Class A discrete electronics and it has a transformer balanced output. The Worker Bee does not have a transformer balanced output, it's just a uh, solid state mic. And it also has a smaller capsule, it, it has a 24 millimeter medium, uh, medium diaphragm capsule. Okay, so there's, there's our Worker Bee. Again, we have the beekeeper shock mount with the extra thumb screws in there in case you lose them. And the honeycomb pop filter. The Worker B features a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and it can handle a maximum sound pressure level of 145 decibels, which is quite a lot. So it's an even better choice for using on drums. You could close mic your toms or uh, your, your bass drum, that kind of thing. So again, mounting is as easy as undoing these thumb screws here, placing the mic in the shock mount, and tightening those thumb screws. And then we also have this soft storage pouch. So there you have the neat King Bee and the neat Worker Bee studio condenser microphones, and you can check them out or pick one up at AmericanMusical.com.